Hey guys, this is Shannon, and I am going to walk you through every single step of setting up your free opt-in offer on your IIN website using MailChimp. So when you're logged into MailChimp, first we're going to start by creating a list. So go to the list tab in the left-hand sidebar. Go to create list. You're going to create a new list unless you're updating. If you don't have a list already, this is what you would do. If you do have a list, um, you can just skim through this part and go fast forward to um, showing you like what to do once you have your list. So say this is my free opt-in offer list. From name, you can do it from yourself. You can do it from your business. You can do it. Um, then you're going to put your from email. If you only have, like, for instance, I use Shannon at Hunger for Happiness, all those emails go directly to me. For Rachel, we use info at detox.rachelswellness.com, so that the emails go to an info. Um, so that can be helpful, too, if you have an assistant. If you're thinking about hiring an assistant, it can look good to have, like, info at Hunger for Happiness, info at Shannon Legassi, um, dot com. Um, then you don't need a default subject. I wouldn't put that on there. Down here it says write a short reminder. You are receiving this email because you signed up through, you know, through your website. You signed up for your tips. You signed up for the free offer at which website? And you can just go down here and click save. And that is how you create a new list. Um, so now I have my free opt-in offer list. I'm going to go over here. Uh, next where it says steps, I'm going to click this downward arrow, and I'm going to click on it, uh, left click on it, and then I'm going to go up here to sign up forms, I'm going to left click on sign up forms. On general forms, I'm going to click on that, that orange button there, or orange circle. Here it says sign up form. Now this, down here you'll see it says build it, you'll see sign up form URL. This sign up form URL is if you are sending people directly to the opt-in offer, not your website, not the sidebar, not wherever you have your opt-in, but directly just so they can sign up for your opt-in offer, this is the link that you will share with them. Build it, you can put a picture of your opt-in here, so I might do edit, and I might add in a picture um, of my opt-in. This is an opt-in image I created for my new opt-in offer. You can make it width, whatever width, there it is. You might center it. Um, and then that's going to show up. And then you can opt to have them enter their email, their first name, their last name. There's all these other things over here. They can put in text. They can put in their birthday. They can put in their zip code, phone number, address, website. Um, I recommend keep, you, you need to have their email address. First name is nice. I would not make it a required field because some people may not feel comfortable adding their first name. Um, but it's helpful to have that. So if you want to write like, hey, so-and-so, like, hey, Martha, instead of, hey, with no name, right? Um, I would take away this last name field. Most people are definitely not going to feel comfortable, you know, because ideally you don't just want people who are who know you signing up for your opt-in offer. You want random people. So left click down here on last name. This plus sign, minus sign is going to show up. You're going to left click on the minus sign, you're going to type in delete, and delete that field because you don't want that there because people aren't going to give you their last name or they may not feel comfortable doing it. So now you have your, your sign up form. So what you can do, if I copy and paste this into a new field here, this is, this is the page to my free opt-in offer. So people will see the picture, they'll see everything, they'll be able to... You can send people just to this to sign up for your opt-in offer if you're promoting it on Facebook, if you're promoting it on Twitter, if you're promoting it online, um, if you want to put it on your business card or something. You can do that. Um, but here's, here's where most people forget. So over here where it says forms and response emails, click this down arrow, left click on it, go to sign up thank you page, left click on that. This is what people. This is what shows up on their screen. So after they type in their name and email and they click subscribe to the list, they're going to see this. Almost finished. We need to confirm your email address. To complete the subscription process, please click the link in the email we sent you. That's what automatically pops up. You can click here and edit it. You can like you could change this from almost finished to almost there, or we're about to send this to you, or one more step, or you know important. Please do this so you can receive your your free gift, um, and you can update the text down here as well. So that's optional, but just showing you how to do that in case you want to do it. 
go back over here, go down, um, opt-in confirmation email. This is what they receive to their email. And so automatically it'll show up, the subject line will say, please confirm subscription. In here it says, please confirm subscription. Yes, subscribing to this list. To make it more personal and to make it less about the subscription, I would change it like to say, please confirm your email. And then here, um, please confirm your email to uh, receive your free gift. Free gift. Um, and then you can close it and that way it's a little bit more personal it's not like subscribe me to this list because then it looks kind of like you're subscribing them to a list you know it's you want to make it like please confirm your email so we can send you this list and then automatically it shows if you received this email by mistake simply delete it you won't be subscribed if you don't click the confirmation link and that's in case they wrote Shannon you know Shannon Legassi at yahoo.com instead of Shannon underscore Legassi at yahoo.com all right confirmation thank you page once they click that subscription list in uh, link in their email this will pop up in a new screen so it says subscription confirmed here is where it is important this is how they get your free gift change this subscription to confirm to here is your free gift so once they click that opt-in link in their email and that they click that confirmation link this is going to pop up in a new window on their screen you want to give them their gift right here so um, please you can do click the link below or if you're going to put in an image um, you can you could do something that just says like please click here to download your free gift or it could say please click this link to download your free guide or it could say, please um, click on the image below to download your free um, your, your free gift. And let's say I just put in um, the so this is going to take a little second here marketing. Uh, and so like this is the cover of of the ebook guide that I'm giving people. You might have something different. Um, you probably want to make it about 150 in width, that way it's not too big. So please click on the image below. Um, so, so you could, if you're doing just, if you're, you're saying please click here or please click this link, all you would do is highlight that over here where these chain links are, click link. Go here, left click on it, change to file, and then add the file from your computer. So browse for a file. My opt-in is here. And, and I have my PDF, so I'm giving them the final PDF version of it right here. And I'm uploading that, that file to MailChimp. MailChimp now has that file. They've stored it on their server. And I'm clicking Insert. So now when the screen pops up, someone can left-click here, and it, they're going to get their free gift. You do to link the image. So if you wanted to say, please click on the image below to download your free gift, you left-click on the image. Again, you click on this link. Um, you, you do file. If it's already on your computer, you can go to files and you can just select it. Otherwise, go back in, upload. You're going to upload the final version of your free offer. So if it's a free guide, if you're giving away tips or whatever it is, you want it in PDF form so they can download it. Anybody can download a PDF. They can get the software for free from Adobe and then they just left click on it. So I'll show you what happens um, when you sign up for this. So let so this is what shows up on your page, um, and I'm gonna go back and I, I'm just gonna show you how this how this works for them. So say I go here, I'm on my new screen. I'm gonna type in um, actually sorry, scratch that. One more step before you do that. After the confirmation thank you page, you've got this, you've got your image maybe, or you've just got a link here with text if you don't have an image. You select it, copy it. You can either right click and press copy or you can press control C. That's a shortcut to copy. Go over here to final welcome email. So after they click the confirmation link, they go to that confirmation page they can download there. Some people won't notice that. They won't notice that a new window popped open. So this is what goes to their email. So you can just select all in here and then you can and you can copy that exact same text from the confirmation page and this is going to be sent to them in an email after they click that um, that link. 
So you, up here in the subject, you might want to say, please open, or you could just say, open for your free download or for your free gift. And I'm going to show you how this works step by step. So this is my opt-in offer online. I'm going to type in my email. I'm going to type in my first name as if I was signing up for my list. Subscribe to the list. And it says, almost finished. This is that, ta-da, like, I, now I know that um, my email was submitted by this person, uh, by this system. Then I'm going to go to my email, refresh, free opt-in offer, please confirm your email. And I'm like, oh, yes, I did sign up for that. Subscribe me to the list. And this pops up. I can click here to download my gift. It's going to pop up as a PDF. Or I can click on this image, and it shows up as a PDF. Um, MailChimp is awesome because sometimes you have to right click and click like save link as. You could also do that and save it as a PDF. MailChimp, you can just left click on it and they make it super easy. It pops up. Um, and say I missed that page. Say I thought that was just a pop up saying, ta da, you confirmed your subscription. Well, now I can go back to my inbox and it says free opt in offer. Open for your free download. And then that exact same text is in here, just in case I missed it before. And I also suggest setting up um, an autoresponder or something to go out maybe two days or three days after they subscribe. Again, with the, with, with the link to download and saying, like, did you miss this? Just in case they somehow missed the email. You can also, in, in this screen here, you know, the, in that final email that they received, you can say something like, so maybe you say, please click on the image below to download your free gift. Um, and then you might say something like, make sure to add Shannon at hungerforhappiness.com to your email address book so you will receive um, your download or something like that. You want to remind them to... Um, Add, add your email so that they make sure that they receive your email. So you will receive um, emails from Hunger for Happiness, let's say. Okay, and um, so that's, that's on the MailChimp end. So that you've just completed half the process. Half the process is just setting it up in MailChimp, which you can consider your back end, to make sure that this, is gonna be, this freebie is going to be delivered to them. Okay, so that's, that's one half of it. We haven't even touched the IIN part yet. So here's how you set it up on the IIN side. So once you've done all of that back-end stuff, making sure they're going to receive it once you set it up on your IIN site, click Sign Up Form. Uh, you're going to come back to the screen, but this time click on the blue circle in the middle that says Embedded Forms. Embedded Forms are embedded on your website. This is a preview of what you might get. There are different kinds you can look through here. There's the classic, which looks like this. There's the super slim, which is just their email. If, if for whatever reason you want to do just their email. There's the naked, um, which doesn't have the boxes. Um, but let's go with classic. You can include a title for your form. So you can say, enter your name and email for your free gift. Or you could just say, enter your name and email below or you could just entirely and it'll pop up over here um, or you can just remove the, that that entirely if if it's a, if you already have something like on your opt-in image that says like enter your name and email to receive your free ebook um, or you know fill in the, the form below to receive your free offer um, then you don't need a title for your form. If you don't already have something like that, could be helpful to say something like enter your name or email and email below or enter your name and email to receive your free gift. Over here, um, you can do all fields. Um, and, and when we were setting it up on the back end, remember we gave the email address and the first name, email address is always is mandatory, first name is optional. So that's what this all fields is for. You don't need interest group fields, and you don't need required field indicators. That just makes it um, really easy. If they don't fill in their email address, you can't possibly send them their free offer. They're not. It, um, by putting the required on it, it just shows up like this. Um, it shows you this asterisk that indicates required field and puts an asterisk in here. Not really necessary. Um, so what you're going to do now? We'll go over. So now that we've we've kind of done the back end stuff on MailChimp. Now we're going to go over to your IIN website. Um, 
So this is your IIN website. Um, this, is, this is my old one. Um, create. You're going to go to the Create Content tab. And then for most of you, um, you're going to want to put your opt-in in the sidebar. And the sidebar guarantees that it's going to be on every page. So if someone lands in your home page, your about page, your blog page, your services page, any pages they land on your website, they can download your free offer. So this is where I recommend putting it. So go over to the sidebar editor, scroll down, and you'll see this. It might show up like this if you've never used it before. Click the down arrow. Make sure you ha it looks like this. It's open. And it says paste HTML code to embed links to PayPal, YouTube, newsletter services, etc. So this is what we're going to do. You're, you want to make sure that you have a picture for your free offer. You don't want to don't just want to put in something that says like enter your name and email below for free updates. Most people aren't going to go for that. So add in your picture. So click on that little, um, I don't know if you saw what I just did. Click on this little mountain thing here which says add media. And then you're going to upload your opt-in image. If you don't have an opt-in image, use some of the marketing images we provide you in the forum. If you have the Rockstar program or, or the 28 day program, we give you opt-in ebooks um, that you can update for yourself and you can add a photo to and uh, we give you the covers so you can use those covers and then you could just put them in PicMonkey and say like grab your free ebook on clean eating, grab your free three day mini detox, whatever it is. So this is this is for my program. I offer a um, body image booster ebook and I offer a seven day e-course. So I'm, editing, I'm inserting the image, and the image comes up kind of big, but it's actually not that big. So the image, it's just because this box is very small. Then you're going to click underneath the image. So that, so like your picture is here, it's selected, and you can tell that it's selected because this pops up um, and, it's, and it's highlighted or selected. But when you're down here, this, nothing looks like it's selected. Now you're going to go to the HTML box here where it says HTML. When you hover over it, it says edit HTML source. This right here is your picture. These brackets, this FID, view mode, whatever that stuff is, that is all the HTML code for the picture for your opt-in offer that you just uploaded. Press enter. Now you're going to go over here, back to MailChimp, this embedded form code. Here, Down here it says copy paste onto your site. Begin MailChimp signup form. When you left click on this, it will select all of the copy for you. Okay? Now you're gonna you can right click and click copy. You're gonna go back over here to your IIN website, you're gonna click underneath that picture and you're just gonna paste it. And that is putting your signup form underneath there. So now you can see I've got in the sign up bar I've got my image and I've got um it says enter your name and email below, which is the quote unquote title. You can see like the title here, include a title for your form. That's what that is. And then you see the field for email address. Um, okay, here we go. Um, and you see the forms for email address, first name, subscribe. Now, if you want to get really fancy, if you consider yourself technologically savvy, or if you just want to watch this video, slow it down and go back and watch it again. If you don't want it to say subscribe because subscribe is a little impersonal, go back to the HTML. You're going to see all this gobbledygook down here, right? But where it says down here, it says subs name, subscribe, value, subscribe. This second subscribe here with a capital S, that's the, the, the lettering on your button. So if you want it to say sign up, you can do that. If you want it to say subscribe, or you could do send mine now, or you could do um, like send my guide. Whatever you would want your button to say, that's like a little techie trip a trick on how you can edit your button. So if you if I press update, now you see my form. It says send my guide. Once you're done all that, this is that's how you do it on the IIN site. Click on save sidebar, um, and then you're gonna wait for it to save. And then over here, just in case, make sure you press save to update any changes on the main content editor. Sometimes you need to do both. Sometimes you just need to save the sidebar editor. I like to do both, just in case. Um, you can go check out your site. So this is um, the IIN site. And now you can see, oh, there's my picture in the sidebar. 
There's a title for my form. Enter your name and email below. I can enter my name. I can enter my email. I can click send my guide. And I promise you that's going to work just like this free opt-in offer form um, from MailChimp. Um, if, if you notice, right now there's like the picture and then there's an awkward space before it says this here. You can just go back to the sidebar editor, scroll down, and you'll see the picture. Oh, and when you insert your cursor, cursor there's a little bit of an extra line there. So I just, you can just select this extra space here and click delete. Um, So um, I just clicked delete. Now I removed the space. Um, if you look back, so I updated it in the sidebar. Now when I refresh my home page, now the space is gone. Okay, so that is how you set up your opt-in offer using your IIN website. Um, and, and that's how you put it in the sidebar. You use the same thing if you're going to put it on a page, like say you wanted to have a page that says like free gifts or something or free gift, uh, free guide, free opt-in, um, I wouldn't say free opt-in, but like free gift. So you could have like an about page, whatever, and then you could have free gift. Um, and you could put that whole process for what we just did in the sidebar of the IIN site, you could do on your actual website on a page. Um, it's the same process. So hopefully this has been helpful. I know a lot of you were wondering about it um, and how did and that's the whole process. So the process from does it look good on your IIN website when they sign up? Are they being added to your newsletter list? And how do you automatically add them? How do they automatically receive the opt-in offer once they've signed up for your list? Um, so I know this has been super long um, and I hope it's helpful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.